A few years ago, I was reading a book where the concept of be, do, have was explained. And here is how it goes. For you to have a new level of success in life, you'd have to become a new person and do new things. You have to become and do before you have. In today's video, I'll share with you the five lifestyle changes you must make if you want to become rich. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other exciting videos like this. 1. Get used to uncomfortable things Last year, one of my students sent me a mail where he expressed his concerns, or let me call it fears. According to him, since he had been my student, he had learnt a whole lot from me about what it takes to build a successful business. But doesn't it make sense that he expects success without much pain? You can predict what my response to him was, and here it is. It doesn't matter how much you learn about entrepreneurship from anyone else. You get out there to lay your hands on a business, you'll make mistakes, fail and get frustrated. People who succeed in life are those who get used to not being comfortable because life is filled with so much pain, disappointments and failures. If you want to be rich, you have to learn to follow the advice of Bill Gates, which is, life isn't fair, get used to it. 2. Acquire high-paying skills Almost every adult has some skill or another. But the problem with expertise is that they are not rewarded the same way. The bigger problem is the fact that now and then some skills become obsolete and the world no longer wants to pay for them anymore. Think about web designing. If you were a web designer in the year 2000, your skill was worth several thousand dollars per month. Today, web designing skills aren't worth that much because we now have so many innovative tools which help ordinary people to build their websites. The problem with stuff like this is that some guys lose their jobs while many would be underpaid. Then what can you do? Spend a few minutes every day on acquiring a new high-paying skill. Take, for instance, if you're a web developer, you may decide to spend 15 to 30 minutes every day to learn about artificial intelligence. If you're planning to start a business, you may choose to spend time every day to read and learn about marketing. If you're a writer, you might decide to read books about public speaking and practice as much as you can because speaking well will help you to write well. You get my point. Spending a few minutes every day to acquire new valuable skills can make you more relevant in the marketplace. Hence, you'll get paid a whole lot more. 3. Stop expecting the next election OK, I don't know if they are the right words to use, but let me explain. You see, in my country, Nigeria, the most exciting years are usually the year that leads to another election. And the reason for this is that when an election is approaching, people's hopes are renewed. It's often like, this president is bad and he's the reason why I'm poor, but a new president is coming, which will change things and make my life better. Unfortunately, six months after the election, people often see that politicians don't have the power to change their lives. Here's the thing, nobody has the power to change your life. If you want anything to change in your life, you have to take full responsibility, be willing to get your hands dirty and fight for what you think you deserve. 4. Spend time with yourself Ford was one of the greatest entrepreneurs of the 20th century. He was an innovator and a revolutionary. He created a solution to one of the biggest problems of humankind, transportation. And here's what he had to say. Thinking is the hardest work there is. And that is why only a few people do it. Most of us are too busy to think, even though we think we are thinking. If you genuinely want to change your financial life, you'll do well to have some time to think. Take a sheet of paper every week and spend half an hour to think on the paper. Consider a few opportunities around you and think about the possibility 
of exploiting any one of them. You may be surprised at how you can come up with something great by merely thinking through stuff. 5. Stop making the rich richer I started my first major business when I was 15. It was a bicycle renting business, and how it worked then was that, after school, young boys like me would follow me to a playing field and pay me to rent my bicycle. Back then, I often felt guilty because it was apparent that these guys were giving me the money they ought to use for themselves. However, when I grew up, I understood that it's a normal thing for most people to do. Most people simply wake up in the morning to work hard, so that they can have money to give to the rich. When you spend every dollar you earn to buy stuff that everyone is buying, to take some photos for Instagram and Facebook, you're merely making the rich richer. I don't know any single person who becomes rich without mastering the art of paying themselves first. Some people don't save any money because they think that their income is too small to save any part of it. The problem with this thinking is that saving is a habit. Anyone who cannot save $2 out of the income of $100 won't save $100 out of $5,000. Bonus points. Just before you go, let me share with you something else that is very important if you want to become rich. Spend time with people who want to be rich. One of the biggest mistakes you can ever make is to spend all day with people who are not striving to become rich and then hope that somehow you can be rich. It won't just happen, and I know why. You see, our relationships influence who we are far more than we can imagine. So, what happens when you spend time with the people who don't have the strong desire to be rich is that you don't have any motivation to dare life, try things and take risks. Frequently, people who don't want to be rich don't read books about money or business, so they probably won't start to contribute to any discussion about financial literacy. Often these people are cynical and pessimistic, because they always blame someone else for their poverty. And what happens when you spend enough time with negative people is that you unconsciously start becoming negative yourself. The opposite of this is what happens when you spend time with successful people or people who want to become successful. These people are optimistic. They don't just dream, they take actions. They are determined and won't give up. These people are full of dreams and excitedly share their passion with you. They read good books and will be happy to discuss what they learn with you. You'll have to become a new person to achieve a new thing. You have to get used to uncomfortable things. You have to spend time daily to acquire new valuable skills. You have to stop expecting the government to fix your life. You have to spend time with yourself and think. You must stop spending all you earn and spend more time among the people who want to succeed. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We love you.